first we gonna plug the adapter i'm going to teach you the voltages in all circuits including ram circuit cpu circuit bio circuit chipset circuit everything so let's begin checking the voltages of course we gonna begin with the charge circuit where we have this connector we have to find 19 volt here this is the first step also in this pin we have to find 19 volts always two pins hold 19 volts then let's move on to 3 volt 5 volt circuit please let's look for 3 volts and 5 volt circuit and of course to locate do 3 volt and 5 volt circuit you have to always look for two inductors that is next to each other do you see we have here two inductors next to each other means here we have the 3 volt 5 volt circuit we have this big inductor here means this is basically it could be for 5 volt let's check we have 5 volt in the multimeter so this is 5 volt channel and this inductor we have 3.3 volt in the multimeter means this is a 3.3 volt channel you can also check here because this capacitor belong to this channel here we have the first channel the second channel we have 5 volt here also this capacitor should hold 5 volt as you can see okay for this channel we have 3.3 volt here also this capacitor should hold 3.3 volt so this is basically we can call it test points okay and then we find now the 3.3 volt is good what's next the next is to go directly to the ram circuit we have a ram circuit and please for beginner you should always try to know about the type of the ram here we have ddr3 okay so ddr3 means the voltage for this ram should be 1.5 volts so let's check always you should look for any inductor that is next to ram so this inductor because these two inductors is for 3 volts as we have seen before and 5 volts so this inductor is the inductor that feed the ram if we check this inductor we have to find 1.5 volt as you can see guys why 1.5 volt because this is ddr3 do you see here we have here ddr3 always guys try to check the slots above the slots you gonna find the working voltage for the ram so before continue checking other voltages i'm going to show you other motherboards just for beginners please just for beginners in order to know what i'm saying for example for this motherboard as you can see do you see here we have 1.8 volts so this is ddr2 okay this is ddr2 so the next voltage or signal is the voltage for terminals we called it vtt because for the ram it has the main voltage 1.5 volt and the voltage for terminals so guys the voltage for terminals should be the half of 1.5 volt means 0.75 volt where we can check the voltage for terminals easy here in this network resistor as you can see in the multimeter sorry here we have 0 0.78 means 0 0.75 here also 0 0.75 0 0.75 0 0.70 0 0.77 so the voltage for terminal is good and the voltage the main voltage for ram 1.5 volt also is good but we have another voltage for the ram we have another inductor here that holds 1.8 volt as you can see so this voltage in this inductor also is for the ram for reading and writing data reading and writing data so 
if this voltage 1.8 volt is missing the ram will not work properly okay guys now let's move on to the processor please for anyone who didn't hit the like button please if you want to thank me for my efforts just like the video thank you very much guys let's move on to the processor so here we have the processor please let me put the multimeter here this is the processor here and over here we have the, the pch the same working principle please always in every circuit you should look for the inductors do you see inductors so always take measurements or check measurements in inductor for example for this inductor i should find the voltage for the processor the voltage for the processor is always between 0.7 volts and 1.5 volts okay 0.7 volts and 1.5 volts do you see we have 0.79 volt and i told you that the voltage for the processor please write down this interval always the voltage for the processor is between 0.7 volt and 1.5 volts for all processors you're gonna find the voltage is always between 0.7 volt and 1.5 volt and now here for this processor we have 0.78 volts so the vcc core we called it vcc core is good we can also find the same voltage in this inductor 0.76 volt why because the processor usually contain two channels or more okay and for the ich or the pch this is basically the pch if we check this inductors here we have 1.0 as you can see so let's check again for this we have 1.03 volt and for this inductor we have 1.05 volt so this voltage is the voltage that feed the pch and this voltage here 1.05 volt we called it the vccp or the voltage for terminal or for termination without this voltage please pay attention without this voltage the communication between the processor and the pch will not occur means you gonna get failure about data so what's next now guys let's check the voltage for the, the bios because if the motherboard is good we should find 3.3 volt in the pin number eight of the bios here we have the bios please for this motherboard we have two bioses do you see and for beginners always you should locate the pin number one here we have the pin number one for this bios do you see this point or hole and this mark white mark means this is the pin number one two three four five six seven eight so in pin number eight we should find 3.3 volts do you see we have 3.3 volt in pin number eight of this bios the same also this one is the bios we have the pin number one here so four five this is pin number eight let's check we have 3.3 volts so that's good the bios also receive its voltage so all is good let's check right now one of the most important voltage in the motherboard that many technicians and engineers ignore the voltage for the power switch please pay attention do you know that the power switch hold a voltage in it and without that voltage the motherboard cannot switch on here we have the power switch do you see guys this is the power switch if we check the power switch we gonna find 3.3 volts so let's check do you see here we have 3.3 volts in power switch so without 3.3 volt in this power switch the laptops the laptop will not comes on will not work so please Pay attention to this voltage, 3.3 volt. Because if you receive, for example, any motherboard 
or if your laptop when you press the power switch and nothing happen it could be the power switch itself because without 3.3 volt here the power switch cannot command the motherboard and i will make or for you just a test a test so if i put here do you see the prop of the multimeter here if i press the power switch do you see 3.3 volt is is up here now 3.3 volt is come back and if i press the the, the power switch disappear come back so this is the working principle so without this voltage here the motherboard cannot work so then we have other secondary voltage let's check other secondary voltage for example the voltage here for the usb connector for example here we have the usb connector always try to locate the capacitor this is the capacitor and over here we have the positive terminal of this capacitor if we check this capacitor we should find we should find 5 volts but let's switch on the motherboard first and check this capacitor here we have 5 volts you see we have 5 volts so the usb connector is powered 100 percent here we have the hdmi this is the hdmi the same working principle always try to locate a capacitor or a fuse here we have fuse you see guys we have here f fuse for the hdmi connector means we should find 5 volt here in this fuse if 5 volt is missing the hdmi will not work properly so this is about the secondary voltage here we have other connectors for example always for connectors as i told you before you should locate the capacitor like this capacitor and this capacitor here also always the capacitor near to the usb connector should hold 5 volts the fan connector do you see here guys we have the fan connector so the fan connector basically you can find three three pins or or even four so here we have ground and here do you see this triangle this triangle always means the pin number one or the pin that hold the voltage if we check the first pin here we have 3.3 volts so 3.3 volt for the fan but it could be 5 volt if the processor is overheated we're gonna find here 5 volt instead of 3.3 volt and of course this yellow cable here or yellow connector we this is basically that control the speed of the fan we have 1.6 but it could be 2 volt or even 2.5 volt depending on the heat of the processor if the processor the processor is overheated so this voltage 1.6 volt will increase and then this voltage also will increase okay so this is it guys for voltages in this motherboard i hope that you understand a little bit about voltages 